interval notation is sometimes a shorter way of describing the values of x that are allowed than inequality notation. Inequality notation can sometimes be easy to say, sometimes it gets a little more complicated to say, and sometimes it gets really inconvenient. Whereas interval notation has the advantage of usually being fairly short compared to inequality. So let's go through these couple of examples. I'm going to switch back and forth between each notation. When I have this statement that says x is greater than negative 6, what we do is we put down negative 6 right here, and I put a parentheses on it because x is greater than it but not equal to it. And I think of all the numbers greater than negative 6, you know, negative 5, negative 4, positive 7, all the way out to infinity. Okay, so we give it one of these. And that, this is basically saying the same thing. These mean the same thing. So the next one, as I look at this guy, I'm saying, okay, all the numbers between negative infinity and 0. So you can imagine x here, and x is greater than negative infinity, and x is less than 0. Okay? Less than 0. And notice that I'm not saying less than or equal to, because these are curvy parentheses, not square brackets. Now, the part that I've written on the very left, where I say greater than negative infinity, it's not actually necessary to say. You can leave that off and just say x is less than 0, because we know that if I just say x less than 0, it means all the negative numbers. You don't need to say... Uh, you don't need to specify with infinity. x greater than 1, what I'm going to do is take 1 right here and think of all the numbers that can be greater than 1. That goes all the way out to infinity. Now, infinity always gets a curvy parentheses, but 1 in this case gets a square bracket because x is greater than or equal to it. And that's how we note that it could be equal to 1. In this case, this example right here, I'm saying all the numbers greater than or equal to 4. Right? x could be 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way out to infinity. So the way I say that, again, I'm going to imagine x being in the middle here. x could be greater than or equal to 4, and it has to be less than infinity. But again, we don't really worry about saying less than infinity because everyone understands that's what we mean. So you could say x greater than 4, greater than or equal to 4 like this. You could also say, as long as we're on the topic, you could also say x greater than or equal to 4 like that. These are the same exact statement. They mean the same thing, and one's not right, one's not wrong. It's just whatever your preference is. Now, with this one, it says x is between negative 5 and 3, and it could also be 3, so that's inclusive on the 3. So what we do here is we say negative 5 to 3, x can be all the values in between there. It can't be negative 5, so that gets a curvy parentheses, but it can be 3, so that gets a square bracket like this. And the last one, x is between negative 7 and 7. Well, I write it this way. x is between negative 7 and 7. And because it could actually equal 7, positive 7, I put a less than or equal to on that one to indicate that it's inclusive.